continuing on with the Eye of Horus, or Lucifer, we begin again with Aleister Crowley. This is his famous saying, Do what thou wilt, under love that shall be the whole of the law. And don't be uh, deceived by what their version of love is. It's purely a sexual uh, type love into sex magic and all of that stuff. So do what thou wilt under love. And so that is his famous saying. And this is under the life of Aleister Crowley. You can see the Baphomet image. He called himself the beast. Um, uh, also, uh, he was known as the wickedest man, in the wickedest man in the world. So you can see Jay-Z here. Do what thou wilt uh, on his... A hoodie and just to sh let you know that that wasn't photoshopped this is the same evening and a guy taking a picture with uh, uh, Jay-Z and you can see he's got his sunglasses off and he is seriously drunk or stoned or on drugs or possessed and, or all of the above and you can see that 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 is was on his hoodie this is a very famous image on the internet. Now you can see the eye in the triangle. That is exactly what that is. It's the eye of Horus, the eye of Lucifer. You can see that. Here's Jay-Z again. This is an HP commercial in the mid-2000s. I remember that was huge. Now you see this connection between a major corporation promoting Jay-Z and promoting this triangle. Um, in this case, uh, also... Uh, if you see the commercial, light emanates from this triangle, uh, which is that illumination. In addition to that, you see this OK sign, and we'll get into that later. It's not to say, OK, this is a cool design, but I'll tell you that there's way more sinister than that. So your use of these symbols um, in that uh, context. So we have Warren Buffett uh, hanging out with Warren Buffett and Forbes, one of the richest men in the world. And, of course, Jay-Z teaches him the pyramid, but he knows all about what that pyramid is because Warren Buffett's secret management, uh, management secrets, you see the use of the triangle uh, and the eye within it. Also, you have this keyhole, and the keyhole is a reference to the key to the mystery religions, which is Luciferianism. And we'll get into that later on in the part two. Going on with the Beatles and their cover, and you can see who the Beatles were. You saw some images of the Beatles using the Il Cornudo sign. You can see up in the corner here, it's none other than Aleister Crowley, the famous Satanist. Jay-Z now, the use of that sign, ubiquitous sign. Roca where I believe that this particular emblem is actually three vobs, which is 666. And so, uh, but you can see that his line of clothing is Masters of the Craft, and this is re in a reference to Freemasonry. You can see the handshakes here. You can see the hands and uh, other occult symbols along with the Eye of Lucifer. Uh, there is another craft that we know of. It's called Witchcraft, and there are very similar rituals in Witchcraft um, as with Freemasonry. So you can see the compass in the square and this opposite moving up and down uh, and you'll see uh, that reverse reflective uh, symbology later. Uh, the Eye of Horus, Eye of Lucifer symbology, the double-headed eagle. We're going to get into this uh, in Freemasonry and the understanding of where that originates. And so you see the triangle and the crown and the double-headed eagle. You can see Jay-Z with his uh, sport coat. I believe that's Jay-Z. And then this is key. Hail Mary to the city. This is his song, Empire State of Mind, Hail Mary to the city, you're a virgin, and Jesus can't save you, life starts when the church ends. Just to show you that this is one of the top ministers or artists or puppets for the industry, and he's telling you specifically that Jesus can't save you. I'm here to tell you that is a red flag to tell you that what the opposite of this is true, because this guy plants all of this symbology on you and therefore please Jesus is the only one that said that he's God and the only one that said that he can save you remember he's exclusive to himself I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but by me if that's not true is Jay-Z telling the truth or is he lying he is actually praying to the phallic symbol which is the 
Empire State Building. So that is symbolic of that. He understands also what the church age is, because in Christianity there's what's called the church age. And this is from after uh, Jesus died, the church began. And so he understands that when the church ends, he and his religion believe that they're going to have uh, the biggest party on, on the planet and uh, live eternal life in uh in an ultimate party and I'm going to tell you they have a surprise waiting for them they are literally evil to the core so now moving on to uh, Led Zeppelin you can see Jimmy Page here a disciple of Aleister Crowley there are, were many disciples of Aleister Crowley including David Bowie and I showed you David Bowie with that lightning bolt and you can see here the use of the Egyptian eye here OTO Ordo Templi Orientis and his logo there's Jimmy Page and of course 666 and this is Anton LaVey in a variant of this triangle I think he puts a couple fingers down to represent the eye up above but he's uh, this is a, an image on the internet and so we can see here this is an uh, a puppet uh, named uh, a Tyler the Creator and they like to give them uh, names that refer to themselves as gods and you can see the eye of Horus here again you can see the eyes in the back of the head there's money or mammon and this demonic uh, this represents demonic possession and he's wearing an Aleister Crowley t-shirt this is a down triangle um, you'll see that up triangle down triangle symbology used and we have again demonic possession down facing or down pointing uh, crucifix when we have the pentacle or the pentagram this is a Jonas brother and you can see that he wears this is of course the Jonas brothers uh, uh, they gathered the tween generation um, pre-teens and you can see here uh, Aleister Crowley Kanye West and Jay-Z best friends using that triangle uh, this is the trifecta of sort of hip-hop. It's really not hip-hop anymore. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's all the same thing. Uh, Kanye West, Jay-Z, and Rihanna. Um, and you can see here also Beyonce and the clear reference to the eye in the triangle. Moving along, Jay-Z and his wife, Beyonce. You can see here Skull and Bones represents it to secret societies. We'll see that later. Now athletes, uh, LeBron James who got his national championship and then the Scientology uh, guru um, uh, Tom Cruise and of course athletes again Kobe Bryant and his wife. Now don't remember do not uh, take that cross as a sign of Christianity. Here is um, uh, 50 Cent and you can see the eye in the triangle. Kanye West again, the eye in the triangle. And this is uh, Drake. I don't know who that is. Uh, Loop Fiasco maybe, I don't think so. So anyway, uh, you see the reference again all over the place. I think that's Lindsay Lohan and we have uh, one of the founders of now I think or the directors moving along and this is a pretty key image we'll have this in the next section you see the dancer with the eye uh, in the triangle you see the illumination around that and you see her bending over and doing this um, okay sign we'll get into that later and it's very obvious symbolism this is Madonna back in the day with her Illuminati triangle pyramid and then the Nickelodeon this is the uh, lightning bolt now you can see here it's an obvious reference to Satan and so the lightning bolt in conjunction with the eye in the triangle the eye of Lucifer and this is a Nickelodeon commercial around 2001 and this was the sequence of that commercial now when we see people like this doing this all it really is is mass programming they are doing the symbol they have no clue what it is but all you have to do is show them a dollar bill show them those images and they'll understand that that is the 
eye of Horus or the eye of Lucifer. It is a religious symbol being populated onto the planet. You know, this is the bias of religion is so amazing to me. You talk to somebody and you try to tell them about Jesus, and guess what? They say, "Oh, you know, what? Don't push your religion on me." Look at the pushing of religion on people in this case. They have no clue that they're being pushed into a religious symbol. In fact, you'll see at the end of this presentation that this is the pr magic that they practice. They practice the the energy that is created by through a symbol and that is their magical practice. They're on stage and they show this symbol and everybody follows it and the energy is what they gather from that and that is their form of black magic. You can see this now, Obama in the background and people holding up this triangle. But look at the masses. And this is one of the uh, images that, that I use for, the, uh, for this presentation to show you the mass programming going on.